Hey everybody, doing a little fiber laser rotary tutorial. Uh, help some people out that are suffering here. Um, so on my machine, I have my rotary set up on uh, the Y-axis from the scan head. So here's the scan head. Um, you know, usually you have, uh, or the, sorry, the, the X-axis here. So X and Y going like this. So it's going along the X-axis. Um, so that's how I've got mine set up. Others people have it, have it set up so it's uh, running along the y-axis. So what that means is I want my laser to laser across this surface right here, and then I want the rotary to turn. Okay, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually be moving, the rotary is gonna be moving the y-axis. So it's gonna be moving, the, instead of moving up and down the length of that, it wants the rotary to move that y-axis, okay? So we leave the x-axis alone. It's just gonna do the, the width of that, however big my image is. Um, but let's show you kinda how, I, how I've got a few things set up. Is, first of all, I like to use a straight line um, to help me center that on the top. So I'll select that, hit red, come back over, and there you can see the red line. You know, it's like I do it, so I eyeball right down the center of that, make sure my rotary's lined up, and I've got it centered, because I always want my laser right down the center there. Now, also what I do is I've got this handy dandy little tool. Actually, this is two of these like right angles that you get at Harbor Freight, or I don't know where you would get them, wherever you are. But anyways, I just took the two of them together and combined it, so I've got uh, flip-flopped. So the one sits down on the table, and the other one, I just undo the screw and I set it um, so it lands right on top of the cup. And then I can go from there, and I can look at my measurement on the ruler, and it's like, okay, I've got... Uh, Sorry, you can't read that. The light's bad. Uh, 164 millimeters. And my tower is actually set up to where the focal point for my 150 lens is at 100. So I just have to add that um, to my measurement. So it's 264 instead of uh, 164 because because 100 is base. Uh, base is uh, 100 at the table. So I'm moving it up. Um, the measurement that I need. So that's how I set my height. Make sure your height, um, you know, if you have your little measuring bars, I don't know where my right size one is, but you know, if, the, if I had the length one, it would come from right here up to my, up to my laser, my, uh, my lens. Hmm, I probably ought to find that. See, I don't, I don't need it because I always just measure what I'm doing. But anyways, Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to do a little G here. Um, some people are doing a box, a square, um, you know, different images. If you're doing graphics or bitmaps, you need to use drill mode. Um, here, I'm just doing a letter. So because my cup is facing this direction, you know, along my X-axis, you know, I've got to rotate my my letter you know or my image so that it's facing that direction as well to match the cup um my hatch uh line space and whatnot is going to be uh different for you depending on what you're trying to accomplish if you're trying to anneal uh or if you're trying to um just take off coating here i'm going uh 0.08 i'm going to remove the coating I'm going to remove my cross hatch. I'm going to remove my all calc. I'm going to do just enable. And actually, I'm going to make that a little bit tighter. <clears throat> uh, 0.06. So here I've got the uh, interrupted pattern with the blue and red. Enable only. Here's super important. 90 degrees. You either have to go 90 or 270 for this to work very well. Okay? And I'll show you why here in just a second. All right, so I've got my hatched. It's 90 degrees. It's facing the right direction that I wanted on the cup. Um, I want to go ahead and look at it, make sure I've got it selected, look at it, make sure I can see kind of where it's going to be. Okay, so there it's going to be on the cup. That's kind of small, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter much. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and put my son's full name. Boom. A little like that. 
And so that is, um, you want to center it. Actually, I wanted to come down a little bit on my x-axis. I was like five down. Okay, because just on the height of the cup, that way we can see again as we look at that. You know, it's going to rotate a little bit around the cup. Not, not a whole lot, just a little bit, but should give us a good size. Uh, sorry I'm jumping around so much, but it's just me. Nobody to hold this thing. Okay, um, power settings. Probably going to set something up there. Um, let's go... Uh, 1500 uh, and 8080 should probably be pretty good. You know, and I've got these all set up. It's not the point to get a good clean mark here, just to show you how to set up the rotary. All right, so apply laser. So I'm going to use the rotary mark here, show you. All right, you can see these different lines. Okay, that line just gives you an estimate of where that's going to fit um, for your workspace. Okay, right now I've got my workspace set to that square 150, 150. Sometimes some of these rotary settings will screw up your workspace. It'll make it so it's only inside of those lines. If it does that, you got to go back into file. Okay, and you've got to do under your system parameters, um, set up your workspace you know, make that back into the square. Because if your workspace is less than the size of your image, okay, we'll drag that, in. if it's less than the size of the image, it won't mark. It won't mark anything that's outside of that workspace. So make sure your workspace is bigger than what your image is. You know, it's gotta match your lens size, yada, yada. Okay, so we're gonna select that. I'm gonna use rotary mark on this one. You, Most guys use split mark too. Yeah, I think they're about sixes. All right. This is where your money is. Um, okay, split size, that is how much um, distance going around the cup. Okay, so that's how much it's gonna go around the cup before it actually moves again. So it's only gonna laser a strip that wide. So if you go a, a five, that's gonna be five millimeters. It's gonna laser a strip that wide, boom, like that. If you've got it set at 90 degrees. If you don't have it set at 90, then it will actually, um, it'll still work if it's that wide, but if you have it narrow like I'm gonna do, it, it won't work. So, um, what I do is I match my my line size on my hatch, which was 0.06, sorry, you can't see it um, because it's text. But anyways, it, 0.06, and so that means it's gonna do one line across that's the same width of my line size, um, and it's gonna be perfect, okay? Your distance per, that means how much your cup moves around if you fit, if you actually hit your arrow buttons and have it spin around. I rarely use that. I just usually set it up where I want it and I don't uh, spin it, okay? Um, I'm gonna mark selected. This stuff doesn't matter. Um, now, we're gonna, part diameter is important as well. Well, critical, okay? Get you a good set of calipers. Know where you're, where you're going to mark it. Boom. Go like that. So I've got to set my calipers to on. Oh, man. Battery's freaking dead. Oh, well. No big deal. Okay, so it looks like I've got 72. So I'm going to drop that down. 72 millimeters is my part diameter. My parameters to show you. Okay, this is where people get messed up. Okay, you're gonna enable your rotary. That's gotta be enabled. Don't mess with your invert. Invert is gonna flip your image 180 degrees. Okay, so unless you're really wanting to do that, I, I don't know why you would wanna do that, but if you're gonna do that, just do it in your workspace. Okay, your ID, so this is the internal diameter. What do you want the rotary to control? Remember, we want the rotary to control the Y axis, okay? We want it to control this axis, okay? It's gonna stay, the laser is gonna control the X axis. We want the rotary to control the Y axis, okay? So that's where you're screwed up. Fix that, check your Y axis. If you do have your cup lined up so it's 
you know, up and down from your scan head, then you're going to change that to your X. Okay? Z is if you have a different kind of table. I'm not going to mess with that. Pulses per round. This is important. That is going to match your particular rotary. Most of these steppers are 6400. Okay? Um, it's just a very standard stepper. If you have less than that, what it's going to do is it's saying there's so many steps or so many gears in that in the teeth of that stepper. If uh, if you set it to less, that means it's not going to go all the way around to make one uh, you know one circle, a, a full diameter of the cup. That's what it's calculating with that number is you know how many steps does it take to go all the way around one time. So if you have that number wrong, it's not going to spin the cup the right amount where it's supposed to. So your image is going to be too short or it's going to be too long uh, compared to what it is. So uh, those are your critical ones. Um, you know, your speeds, things like that. You know, here's the settings. You can keep it up that. Your gear ratio, leave it one. Make sure your part diameter is correct according to whatever the diameter of your, your stuff is call it good okay shouldn't have to worry about your external axis too that should be off hardware inferral blah 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 uh, so I didn't change anything so I don't need to do anything um, so we'll go ahead and come on over we've got it selected already and then we're gonna hit mark so this is important as you hit mark recognize that the rotary right now it's centered to the image as soon as you hit mark it's gonna rotate to the outside part of that image so when you are doing complex images or say you've got like another logo down here, make sure that you've got it centered on that other logo, like if the cup's got a logo or whatever, however you want. So, boom, hit your mark. Let's turn my fan on. boom turns back you can see again it's centered right there turn the fan off so there's my text sorry I'm gonna uh, quit that red market so you can see there's my red mark it's pretty close you know it does change as you get bigger because the curvature changes the distance from the lens um, but that's how you do it guys um, hopefully that answers your questions, gets you squared away. Have fun marking um, pretty quick.